Hi Aquarius, this is Tracy from Northeast Tarot and welcome to your June 2017 monthly tarot forecast. This is for Aquarius Sun, Aquarius Moon, and Aquarius Rising Signs. So Aquarius, if you're looking for additional advice in regards to love and relationships, I do have an extension to this reading over on Vimeo where I only focus on love and relationship matters. If you are interested in receiving a private reading from me, please head on over to northeasttarot.com and I will have the decks that I'm using here for this reading listed below in the description bar. All right, Aquarius, so the overall energy for you for the month of June is the Knight of Cups. Very nice. So, Aquarius, uh, some of you Aquarians, maybe you're receiving an offer receiving some really exciting news or communication with the Knight of Cups. It's not always just an offer, but for some of you, it, it will be an offer of love, or you could actually be extending your cup. You could actually be presenting an offer to someone. Now, when I just lifted up the Knight of Cups here, I have the sun underneath it. So maybe for some of you, there's a Leo. There could be a Leo that's quite significant. But this is really nice as an overall energy. I see many of you in a really good place emotionally. Uh, the Knight of Cups does represent movement. For me, all of the Knights represent movement. So for some of you, you're moving forward in some way. Uh, and you could be receiving an offer or news or information um, that has something to do with that. Something that's very exciting, something that makes you very happy. We're starting out with the Queen of Cups. We have the Queen of Cups crossed by the Two of Pentacles. So there might be a Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces individual that is very significant here right at the start of June. Now, for some of you, maybe you need to make a decision about this person. Uh, for some of you, this could be a water sign person that's coming to you and extending an offer to you. If that's the case with the Two of Pentacles here, Aquarius, you might need to make a decision. Uh, for some of you, you might be going back and forth, trying to make a decision. You could be weighing your options. For some of you, this is going to be your energy, the Queen of Cups, needing to really listen to your intuition when it comes to maybe making a decision or accepting this offer. For some other Aquarians, I feel like you could be the one that's presenting an offer to someone. You could be communicating with someone, maybe telling someone how you feel. And maybe right at the start of the month, you could be going back and forth, um, contemplating really doing this for some of you. Um, but the Two of Pentacles also represents, uh, for some of you, you're, you're going to have a lot going on here. This is you juggling, juggling different demands, having a lot of responsibilities. So for some of you, you have a lot going on. Maybe you're just trying to, you know, find the time for everything that's going on right at the start of June. Um, right at your foundation, I have the Ace of Pentacles. So the Ace of Pentacles can represent maybe a new job or a new home, some sort of solid new beginning that has started for you previously. Now, because I have this Eight of Pentacles here at your foundation, but then I also have the Eight of Pentacles in the recent past, for some of you, this was you maybe landing a new job. You started a new job. So maybe between work and then what you have maybe going on in your personal life, maybe on the romantic front, this is you really maybe juggling. Um, trying to stay balanced. So for some of you, you have a lot going on. You just landed a new job and if not a new job, uh, you could have moved house or this could be maybe a lump sum of money or an inheritance or something like that that is significant. With the Eight of Pentacles, though, I see you working very hard in the recent past, very, very focused on something, devoting a lot of time and energy to this, concentrating on this. So if you don't work for a living, you could have been maybe working on a project or something like that. For some of you, you could have bought a new home and maybe you were working on the home. But I see you in a good place financially. Um, I just think that some of you, you know, you have a lot going on. I'm not really getting that you're juggling your finances here. I'm getting more that you have a lot going on 
and you're just trying to make time for everything. And what's interesting, Aquarius, is crowning you, we have the death card. And death does represent the sign of Scorpio. So there could be a Scorpio, because we have this water energy, there could be a Scorpio person that is very significant in your life. Maybe this is a person that's coming towards you with an offer with that Knight of Cups energy, or maybe this is a person that you are moving towards with an offer. Um, but death is something major, and this is crowning you. So this is what's on your mind. So you're thinking about maybe changing your life. You're thinking about something transforming. With death, it's either some, something transforming or it's something coming to an end. So something ending within your life, creating that space for something new to come in. And this is what you're thinking about. So maybe for some of you, this is what you're going back and forth in regards to. So this could be something major. This could be a huge life change that maybe some of you are contemplating. Some of you, I feel like it's on the romantic front. I feel like it's definitely in regards to maybe a relationship, a relationship matter, a family matter. And if not, this is something more financial, something to do with maybe your stability, your security. And maybe some of you are just contemplating this big change. Coming up, though, in the near future, and this can be around the second week of the month, we do have the Two of Wands, which is you very focused on the future, very, very focused on the future, making a lot of plans for the future. But also, for some of you, this is you walking out on a new path. You're just about ready to, to take those plans and those ideas and execute them. This is you moving forward. So you have death on, on the mind. You have change on your mind. You're thinking about maybe bringing in some, some huge change within your life, Aquarius. And then here, this is you maybe stepping out on that path with a two of wands. You could be making a decision. You could be making a decision and then stepping out onto that path. And if you are stepping out on a new path, Aquarius, I see you moving forward very confidently with the six of wands here. This is in the position of your power. So you're moving forward very confidently. But also, I'm, I mean, this is you feeling proud of yourself. This is you feeling proud of yourself, maybe because, you know, you did maybe initiate this great change. You did walk out on this new path. So for some of you, you're feeling very, very proud of yourself. Um, maybe this wasn't the easiest decision for you to make. And so now here around the third week, this is you feeling proud of yourself, feeling accomplished. For some of you, this is you landing a new job, starting this new job, and I think that you really like it. Um, and maybe it was a big, it was a big risk. It was a, it was a gamble. And for some of you, you chose to maybe take that, that risk or that chance. And for some of you, maybe you changed careers or something like that. Um, but this is you really feeling proud of yourself. For those of you that didn't start a new job, didn't land a new job, this could be some sort of recognition that's coming to you around the third week. Uh, this could be you receiving like some sort of acknowledgement, maybe a raise, maybe a promotion. In the position of, of how those around you are viewing you, we do have the Ten of Swords. And what I'm really getting for you here is this is the worst that's now behind you. The worst is now behind you. People around you are seeing you move away from a difficult time, a difficult period within your life. But you definitely had a big, you know, part to play in this. This was you needing to walk down that new path, you needing to make this decision. Um, and this is you now literally moving forward, leaving behind a difficult period, a difficult cycle of your life. And for some of you, because I have uh, these twos here with the two of pentacles, the two of wands, you know, there could have been some Aquarians that you left maybe a relationship. You left maybe a relationship or a partnership of some kind. And maybe you chose to move forward independently or something like that. You chose to walk down a new path. But this is you leaving, um, leaving the worst behind you, moving forward. Now, in your hopes and fears position, I do have the Eight of Cups. Maybe hoping to continue on moving forward and not turning back for some of you because we have the Eight of Cups here in the Hopes and Fears position. 
which I already feel like you are moving forward. So I think that some of you are maybe hoping that you don't turn back. Hoping to maybe fully move forward and, and fully leave behind something that emotionally was no longer serving you with the Eight of Cups. Something that you invested a lot into emotionally, but it's no longer serving you. So maybe hoping that you close this door on this chapter and you don't reopen it for some of you. And then the energy that you're leaving the month with is actually the Eight of Wands which can be for some of you things really actually happening quite quickly here right at the end of the month. This can be the energy shifting, things really starting to happen, things are moving forward. This can also be communication coming in. So for some of you, you could be hearing something, there could be news, there could be information that's coming in right at the end of the month. Maybe for some of you this is quite sudden, maybe you weren't expecting this. But this is things really starting to happen at this time. Uh, and I feel like this is very, very positive. Now, because you have a few eights here, I mean, you have three eights here. The eight of pentacles, the eight of cups, the eight of wands. Eights for me are, are a karmic number, very much a karmic number. So, you know, for some of you, it could be cutting some sort of karmic cord. You're making a huge change. You're moving forward. Uh, for some of you, this could be like a karmic lesson that you've now learned and you're able to move forward with your life in some way. Uh, maybe you've passed a karmic test. So I feel like this is very positive. Whatever you have going on here, Aquarius, I feel like it's, it's truly for the better and it's very, very positive. And maybe this is something you've been dealing with for months. For some of you, I feel like this is something that's been ongoing Maybe you've been struggling. For some of you, you know, maybe you've been in this predicament, the Two of Pentacles, where you're contemplating and going back and forth for quite some time, trying to make a decision. But this is very, very positive. If this is on the career front for you guys, for some of you, if this is on the career front, this is very, very positive. Um, maybe it was a, you know, big risk for you to maybe accept a new position with a new company. Um, but I, I feel like this is really, really good for you. When you create that space within your life, um, new beginnings come in. And I'm just seeing if there's anything I really want to clarify. Honestly, not really, but I will clarify this Ten of Swords for you. I don't really feel the need, but I will clarify for some of you. Let's clarify the Ten of Swords for Aquarius. And this is in the position of how those around you are viewing you. We have the Ten of Swords which is you moving on from a difficult situation. But I will pull three clarifying cards for the Ten of Swords for Aquarius. For some of you, maybe you're choosing to pursue a new relationship. Maybe you've left a relationship and now you're going to be pursuing a new relationship for some of you. There we go. Wow, interesting. All right, so clarifying this Ten of Swords, Aquarius, I have the Nine of Swords, the Six of Cups, and then the Ten of Swords again. So the worst is, is behind you, Aquarius. This is you definitely ending a difficult period within your life. And it was something, again, could have been ongoing for some of you. You've had those sleepless nights. This is something that you've really had to deal with, um, with the Nine of Swords, something you've really worried a lot about but you can see this progression here uh, this is a this is a cycle this is a period that is completing for some of you there could be some closure that's coming in with the six of cups here there could be some closure also you know the six of cups represents um the past someone or something from the past that's relevant so for some of you again i feel like this is ongoing this is this has been something that's ongoing some of you are now laying the past to rest. That's really what I'm getting. You're laying the past to rest. 
for some of you, you are receiving closure, you are moving forward, and you are closing the door on a difficult period within your life. This is a very, very positive reading. You have some very positive energies to work with Aquarius emotionally and financially. I see you in a good place. Wow. Okay. And this is my Oracle of the Unicorns deck. This is a new deck. I highly recommend it. It's a beautiful deck. For some of you, you could be receiving some sort of raise or some sort of recognition in the month of June. All right, so we have the Goddess card. Honor your divine feminine energy. See your inner beauty. Love every part of you. Wow. So for some of you, Aquarians, you might feel like a goddess. You, goddess, excuse me. You might be getting more in touch with that inner goddess within you, getting more in touch with that divine feminine energy. This is such a beautiful card. Honor your divine feminine energy. See your inner beauty. Love every part of you. So for some of you, you're on this new path, this new journey, and maybe you're going to be falling more in love with yourself. Maybe you're going to be fa falling more in love with your life, this new path that you're walking down. So this is really, really beautiful, Aquarius. Okay, Aquarius, so I do hope that you found this reading helpful. If you would like an extension to this reading, please head on over and join me on Vimeo. I will have the link listed below in the description bar. Uh, and for that reading, I am only focusing on love and relationships um, for you guys for the month of June 2017. If you're interested in receiving a private reading from me, please head on over to northeasttarot.com. And if you are not subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe. I do wish you all a great June. Take care.